Halloween Cat Speaker and Light Acrylic Painting Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing something that is kind of Halloween. It's a cat speaker that's got kittens on it and little spiders and some spider webs and it's on a little 3D, 3D, it's on a Bluetooth speaker that lights up. So you just tap the top of it and then the lights turn on and they kind of, you can either have it so it's a single color or kind of more from red to orange to yellow to green to blue and so on and so forth. It's just, it's very black and silhouette all around it. It's very simple and it's just, it's very, very key iconic black cat. So I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future art as well. So I'm going to start on the side that has the kitty that is sitting in that circle with the tree and then the little bat. So to begin my circle, I just created eight little reference dots. So I started, I made four and then I added a dot between each of those other four to create little little dots just to kind of guide my circle. So as you're doing those, just kind of make sure that you're spacing them evenly and then you can kind of connect the dots and hopefully you should end up with a fairly reasonable circle. It's not going to be perfect. As you can see, mine's not perfect and I didn't require it to be perfect. If you did want it to be absolutely flawless, what I would do is I would put something syndrical on top of that and then go around it and then take that off and then perfect it. But as long as it's close, I was good. So I figured that was perfectly fine. So then as you go through and you thicken up the lines, you can kind of even out your circle during that process, make it closer to an actual circle. So now I'm going to be painting my cat. So I started in her chest area and I'm going to be adding her the little silhouette of her arms and her back and then her tail curling down below the circle. So it's like she's sitting in a little ring or like in a window or something and then add the lines of her face, give her some ears, very classic cat. And then you're going to also want to outline her eyes and any areas that you don't want to have any paint on. And then I'm going to be adding some whiskers. I also added some eyebrow whiskers because those are my favorite. I love how cats have those little eyebrow whiskers. So they're actually, and they're just their eyebrows, but you have to stick a couple of those going up. So then I'm just going to leave that for a moment and I'm going to be adding the tree next to it. So I'm just going to kind of fill in here and there, just kind of add that little creepy tree silhouette. I love Halloween. I love black cats. I have a black cat. Her name is Licorice. She is very, I don't know. She's like, she's like my whole, she's my little kitty. Hi. I can't get enough of my kitten. So I had to base this, you know, black cats. I actually have black cats on my nails right now too. So I, I always tell her this is her month. This is her time to shine. But after I have the tree in place, I'm going to be adding a little bat on the other side and then I'm going to be filling in his wings. Then I'm going to take and take some more of that black paint and I'm going to be filling in around the cat's facial features, mainly just her eyes because you want to make sure that you're not covering up those eyes that you want to leave so that they will glow. And then I switch to a thicker brush just to fill in the bigger portions of the cat, like her body and her tail. For the next side, I am going to be starting with an outline. This is just a very clean silhouette of a cat, kind of from profile. So it's like the front with her, the head is turned, so she's looking off to the side. So I started out with, it's a little bit of chest and then like a shoulder on the one side. That's why it looks a little bit uneven there. Why it's not the same from side to side. Then you have to add her legs, tail, and then just a hint of the feet. There's not really too much for feet showing. But I'm just going to fill in that tail. It's the thinner portion with the smaller brush. And then add the silhouette of her face that's going off to the side. So it's the back of the head on the side that has the shoulder. And then it's the front of her face on the other side. Add her ears. And then you're also going to want to add her eyes. So I also, for this one, I didn't fill in the center of her ears with black. So I want those to go as well. So you're going to want to fill in or the center of the one ear that's facing towards the viewer. So then just leave a triangle for that. And then go ahead and fill in around the eyes and the things like that that are up at the top that are a little bit more fine and need to have a more delicate approach to filling in around them. So then with that thicker brush, I'm just going to fill in the rest of it. So everywhere else in the head and then down the body and the legs and the little bit of tail that didn't have paint yet. And so that's that for that one. Like I said, this is um, this was a very quick in a very quick fun project that kind of gets you in the Halloween spirit. I know that I I did this um, when I was watching a movie. I was just you know kind of enjoying myself, having some black cat time. So now for the next one, I have a black cat that is kind of got one paw that's up kind of looking up at a spider web and a spider. So I'm going to do the cat down in the corner so that I have room for the spider web and the spider. So I'm just going to add that. And if you want to, if you want to do something similar to this, but you don't want to use the exact poses that I used and you want to see similar stuff, if you search out, just you put in cat silhouette, you're going to find so many amazing images that are just, you can really, you have a lot to choose from. So you can always do that too if you want to switch it up a little bit. So this one I just, like I said, I have that one paw that's raised so it looks like she's about ready to, to swat at or pounce with the little spider that I'll paint hanging down in just a moment. And then I'm going to go through and just 
fill in the cat just like I've done for the other ones. Now this black paint for me, I did do, I did two coats and then after I let those two coats dry for a while, I turned the light on and I just made sure that everything was solid and if there was any spots where there was light showing through that I didn't want there to be, I added a little bit of a third coat on there where needed. And the paint that I'm using is multi-surface paint. So it's the kind of paint that if you go and you find it, it's the stuff that says that it can go in the dishwasher, it can go inside, outside. You can use it to paint glass, metal, pretty much the whole gamut. It's a very, di it's a different consistency than traditional craft paint, but it is definitely the kind of stuff that you need to be doing something like this. And it's, it's durable after about 28 days. It's, I mean, it's, invincible after about 28 days. At this point it's durable, but you don't want to scratch it or anything, especially for a couple days. So after you do this, be careful with your lamp or whatever it is that you're painting for just a couple days after you use that paint because this can't go in the oven. So just, you know, kind of baby it for just a little while so the paint doesn't scratch off. But then, like I said, after 28 days, you should be absolutely fine. You can do whatever it is that you, whatever you want. So now for my last one, I'm just going to be doing a little silhouette of a cat head down at the bottom. So I'm going to start actually with the eyes and add those and I'm going to be leaving a little sliver of color that'll show through down at the bottom and then a little reflection spot. So it's really hard to see in the video because you can't really tell that little spot that I left empty, but you'll see it. You, um, you can see it in the end in the lighted portion of the final result. You can see how the eyes really light up and it's very subtle. For this one, it almost just looks like a black cat head. But when those, those little bits of light show through in the eyes and then there's just a sliver of light that shows through in the ear, like I said, that you can see at the end. Or if you want to get a longer view of the lighted photos, there is going to be photos both lit and unlit on my Facebook page. So if you want to see better photos and or a look at a photo longer, definitely check that out because you can get a better view. So then after I have all of my little pieces filled in there, I'm just going to go through like everything else and fill it in with black multi-surface paint. So for my other lamps that I have that I've done, I'll put links to those in the description box below. I did them where the animal was the lighted portion and I filled in the background with black. So this one I decided I'd do a little differently and do black animals with the other portions black. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I absolutely love black cats, like I said, so I thoroughly enjoyed making this and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. If you switch this up, paint this on something else, I'd love to see it. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my other future videos as well.